Today, Kevin went to a Kroger in Lexington and he found some new chips for us to try. These are called Spuds Original Chips and I think he said they were made in Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky local and they're in Louisville, Kentucky. So that's pretty cool. So we'll be trying these. I have the original cheese and onion and Kentucky barbecue. That's pretty cool. Uh, and he bought two of the Swedish fish Oreo cookies. They're teeny tiny packages and a container of butter. Today at Walmart, Kevin bought me some Betty Crocker Rich and Creamy Cream Cheese and 11 packages of Jack Link's Beef Jerky. This is the bacon jerky. At Walmart, we bought this new Steak and Shake. This is a, a, a chicken fresco melt meal. And uh, Kevin reviews these on his Lunchtime Review channel. And he said he's never had this one, so he's excited. We bought some more of the G. Hughes Smokehouse Sugar-Free Barbecue Sauce in the Hickory. And Kevin bought some of this Great Value Cotton Candy Ice Cream. Um, it says it's a new flavor. I'm sure it's been out all summer, but he just saw it today. In Rite Aid, I bought this Muscle Milk Bar. It is a chocolate peanut butter bar, and I think someone way back wanted me to try one of these. I would never seen one of these. Actually, Kevin pointed it out. Um, I hadn't seen it until today, and um, I just, I, I, you don't see these around here that I'm aware of. And then in Dollar Tree, someone commented, um, that they make different flavored Swedish fish. We did not know that. We've only had like the cherry flavor. So we went in Dollar Tree and they had assorted boxes. So we bought two boxes just in case we don't get all the flavors in one box. And then we did the same thing for this uh, Mike and Ike Mega Mix. You get 10 flavors just in case we don't get all 10. For each of us, we bought two boxes. We also bought a box of the Root Beer Float and the cherry cola, the butter popcorn, and then these are called kajillions. Lots of tiny, tasty, chewy candies. They're strawberry kajillions. Never heard of those. And actually, um, Sylvia told me about all three of these items, so thank you very much, Sylvia. And then I bought a birthday card for a friend, and she does not watch YouTube videos, so I'll show it to you. It says, happy birthday, rise and shine or pull the covers over your head till it's over. Your call. Kevin picked that out, but I thought that's really cute. I like that symbol. Happy birthday. At Kroger, Kevin found these two Walden Farms bottles. These, these are both barbecue sauce. They're both the zero calorie, and the, we have the original and the thick and spicy. So we thought we would um, try them out on their own, but then we also have some other zero calorie um, barbecue sauce that we thought we might do a blind taste test with. So that'll be cool. And then this was the Free Friday, the Trolley Sour Bright Crawlers. And then we bought two more packages of the Swedish Fish because I am saving them. In the liquor barn today, we bought this Hammond Seaside Caramel. This is the dark chocolate. Uh, these candy bars are kind of hard to find around here, and so it's funny. We went in the liquor barn, and I even took pictures of like different liquors and put them on Instagram, but we, we only bought a candy bar because we, we really aren't drinkers. Um, then in Target, we bought two games. We bought this one called Utter Nonsense. It's for ages 18 and up. And this one is called Bucket of Doom, and it is only at Target. And Kevin wanted to get the, <laughs> the Bucket of Doom. There's a parental advisory. I just saw that. Parental ex advisory, uh, who knows. Um, Kevin wanted to get the Bucket of Doom. I wanted to get Utter Nonsense. So um, I'm sure I'll show it during a vlog, some what I can show. You know I'm not going to show anything bad, but you know we like to play games, so we bought those two games. And then at Trader Joe's, we bought the uh, Kona Coffee Creamy Half-Dipped Shortbread Cookies, the new Salted Caramel Coconut Cookies, black and white diamond cocktail cookies the guy said they've been out for a little while a couple months but i haven't tried them so i thought we would try them the uh, pink and whites 
and these are just shortbread cookies and then these sound really good trader joe's blueberry poppy seed cookies and then i bought some uh popcorn as so i bought the trader joe's bollywood popcorn it has a vegan tikka masala seasoning and then this is popcorn i'll show you the other popcorn um popcorn with herbs and spices and then we bought two bags of potato chips we bought the somewhat spicy dill flavored kettle cooked potato chips and the ghost pepper potato chips which sounds really scary at meyer we bought more of the uh, chips ahoy cookie thins we bought two of the cinnamon sugar kevin really really likes the cinnamon sugar if you haven't tried them you should try them we bought the limited batch kellogg's nutri these are the pumpkin spice bars and we bought two pumpkin spice cereals we bought the kellogg's mini wheats uh, pumpkin spice and the life pumpkin spice we have not seen the cheerios we've been to two targets both targets that they only have two in lexington we were at both of them they do not have the cheerios as of today oh uh, at meyer we also bought six diet cokes six coke zeros two big red zeros which we did not even know they made big red zero zero calorie big red so we bought two of those because we've never tried it and then two of the diet a and w root beer at walmart i bought a five pound bag of potatoes normally you all know that i like the jumbo potatoes but i'm only really i only really need them for one meal and so this is going to be more than enough as it is i bought a 12 pack of eggs some half-baked Ben and Jerry's for Miss Ashley. Some Puffs Plus with lotion. I forgot to get them at Target and they only sell these in the four pack, these small boxes. Uh, so I just bought one four pack. We bought the Lay's Kettle Cooked Mesquite Barbecue and the Spicy Chili and Cheese. The Spicy Chili and Cheese is a limited edition flavor. We bought the Biltmore Vanilla Bean Cheesecake. It is a creamy vanilla cheesecake baked in a golden graham crust. I think it sounds really good. And uh, the Biltmore is a house in Asheville, North Carolina, If you, in case you don't know. Uh, we bought some uh, Colby Cheese, uh, Johnsonville Jalapeno and Cheddar Links, some pepperoni, some Sister Schubert's uh, yeast rolls, a head of lettuce, some Ritz peanut butter crackers, a box of regular Cheerios, and yay, the pumpkin spice Cheerios. I'm thrilled that we found those. They had like a whole uh, pallet of those in the middle of the floor. Um, the only place we've seen them around here though. Uh, the Great Value um, uh, all-purpose flour, some whatchamacallit uh, candy bars. There's six in the package. They're a lot cheaper when you buy them like this by six some uh, egg noodles and some uh, one two three four five six of the jack links bacon jerky at kroger we bought some aunt millie's 35 calorie potato bread it, it's regular bread even though it says potato bread we bought two uh, boxes of penne pasta and this is the reduced calorie and i did have a coupon for 45 cents off which is good uh the meat uh if you spent like i don't know like 10 or 15 dollars in the meat department you got three dollars off so i used that coupon this is the heritage farm chicken drumsticks uh, they were $6.42 for all of these drumsticks. And then I think it was Sylvia that told me about these Power Bars. This is the Power Bar Triple Threat. This is uh, chocolate peanut butter crisp, caramel apple. Oh, we got two caramel. You see, we bought things we didn't need to buy today. We got two of the caramel apple. <laughs> we bought a caramel nut brownie, a peanut butter caramel. A, and these are new. These are uh, cookies and cream uh clean whey protein bar and this is a white fudge raspberry uh clean whey protein bar we bought some tilapia for ashley we bought some chicken thighs because i like to make a package of of drums and drumsticks and thighs 
And then um, these are just chicken breasts. I actually wanted some chicken breasts, so that's just a small package of those. And then I put this uh, picture of this on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, I think. Uh, this is the Marie Callender's Pumpkin Pecan Streusel Pie. It, it says it's new. And then I bought the wrong thing. That's why I said we bought two things we really didn't need. We bought two of these caramels we didn't need. But I like the, um, the waffles, and I accidentally bought the pancakes. So, I will try the pancakes, that's fine. I've, uh, you know, I wasn't even into eating waffles until I tried those for the first time, and I love their waffles, so I'm gonna give these pancakes a try, and uh, we'll see. I think they were on sale for $2.99 this week.